Hey everybody, welcome back for another sublimation tutorial. Today we're gonna look at how you make the customized sublimation lighters. You do just use a regular standard lighter. They're not specifically made for sublimation, but there are ways to make a sublimated item um, with tricks that you can learn and uh, use that way. So I'll go ahead and show you the steps on doing that so that you can make cute little designs for your lighters. All right, so what you're gonna be needing is a lighter. And I have kind of found that all lighters, just like tumblers, they come in different sizes. So you always do wanna measure your lighters, um, how tall they are, and then also how wide the circumference of them so that you have a good measured um, design when you print them out. The next thing you're gonna need is permanent vinyl. It is just a standard permanent vinyl that I picked up from a craft store. Um, and I do like the matte more because I'll show you here in the next step. It's going to actually look glossy when you're done with it. Um, so I don't, I, I just go with the matte one, but you can do whichever one you prefer. You're also then going to need laminate sheets and they are thermal laminate sheets. And with these, you want to make sure, um, when you're placing your thermal laminate sheet that the dull side goes down and the shiny side goes up. Otherwise it won't work. And then you'll just need some kind of cutter. Um, you can use the little pizza wheel or an X-Acto knife, whichever works best for you. And then of course, your little designs. I'm gonna try to put four on, just so I can use my whole um, sheet of vinyl here. So now we're gonna lay our vinyl down on our heat mats. Um, you'll put a piece of parchment paper or butcher's paper on the bottom, whatever works best for you. For this part, it really doesn't actually matter if you have that there. I just like to have it there for the next step. You're going to have your vinyl obviously facing upwards. Your lamination sheet, dull side, will be down. And then you just have it covered just like that. Nothing special here. Put another piece of parchment paper over. And then I have my heat press set at 395 for 60 seconds. That just seems to work best for me. If you have a larger clamshell press, um, the temperature might vary, but this seems to be the temperature that works okay. And you're just going to, for this part, heat up your lamination pouch only for about 5 to 10 seconds. You don't want to overly melt it quite yet because you're going to do it again for a longer period of time. Okay, so we'll take that off. You'll see that your lamination sheet is now pretty um, stuck to this bottom here. All right, so then the next step is to take your printed images. And for this, you obviously do want to mirror it because you're turning it over and sublimating and not just leaving it um, where it's going to be flipped over anyways. So it will be a mirrored image. Um, I believe I printed mine at 2.45 wide and then 2.75 long. And that's just what worked for me. But again, the lighters, they do seem to kind of measure all differently. So just be aware of that. So I'm just gonna get these put on here, no particular order, just so that they fit. And you will notice that it kind of starts to curl up and um, just kind of curls up a little bit. That's not a problem. It's just it cooling down. So then we'll go ahead and use our resistant tape, heat resistant tape. We will tape it down just to make sure the images don't move. Okay, so that's how you should be right now. Lamination sheets adhered to your vinyl and your sublimation images are onto um, the vinyl. And then we'll go ahead and cover it up again. And then this one you will leave on for 395 for 60 seconds. All right, so we're all finished up there. We'll remove our press and your parchment paper and just kind of gently um, lift it. I would let it cool off just a little bit just to make sure everything's set. Um, note that you usually can see your ink bleeding through your paper. That's actually a good sign. It just means you put enough time and pressure um, and that the sublimation process worked pretty well. So I'm gonna let this cool for just a second and then we'll start removing our images. 
So this is pretty much cooled off at this point. Um, you'll notice it is pretty uh, rolled up and that's just normal. That's just how the material reacts to the heat and cooling down process. But you can go ahead and start removing your image. And that's what you're gonna get. Really pretty vibrant colors versus if you just try to sublimate onto the um, vinyl itself, it's gonna come out pretty dull and not work as well as you're gonna want to. All right, so get rid of those. So at this point, it's all on there, it's all stuck together, um, and you have your sublimated um, images for your lighters. So at this point, um, I like to use my little pizza roller, but for this part of the sake of time, I'm just gonna cut them out to show you. And you just go ahead and trim them out. So now we have our images cut out and you can see they are the right way since we mirrored them. The coach is the right way and that's just my little one. Um, and so now from here, what we're going to do is you're going to take one of your designs and you're going to peel off the back of the vinyl paper. So that thick paper that's on the back, um, you'll peel it off and then you're going to have basically a sticker. And that's your sublimation that's gonna go onto your lighter. And you'll just line it up the best that you can. All right, and then make sure it's nice and smooth all the way around. And I like to lay it down like that. Um, again, just make sure it's lined up when you get to the back there. And that's the nice thing about this is if you do misplace it, you can just peel it off and then replace it. All right, so just like that, I just replaced it just because it was kind of out of line. And then I like to lay it down and then just really tightly pull the sides over. Just like that. And then bring the other side over just like that. All right, so once you have that all on there, um, I just wanted to show, you can either leave it overhanged and overlapped like that, or you can go ahead, um, what I do is use my little pizza wheel and just being careful with it. Um, you can go ahead and just cut from the bottom all the way up, so you're making a, a cut line. Just make sure you're not pressing too hard and that you're only cutting um, the vinyl. And you can just cut a line up there and then tear off the cut part. Make sure you actually cut it deep enough. And that way it gives you more of like a kind of direct seam there. And that's how you make a little wrap for your lighter to make it customized for yourself or as a gift or just for your business. That's just a cool little trick to do. And then you can make any design to put onto your lighters. So I'll go ahead and finish these up. Um, and then I'll just show you all the finished uh, products from it. All right, so there you go. I did five little lighters and it took me maybe however long this video is, 10 minutes, if that. Um, so it's just a really simple trick, really cool little, just an idea. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if it helped you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel and share for others so they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.